Happy Monday morning my friends. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking and today I'm going to show you how I have finally changed my life and my homemaking. So if you've been following me for any time, you know that Monday mornings have always sucked for me. I have never kept up with my house over the weekend. And I see there's dishes there. I'm going to tell you about that in just a second. But I've never kept up with my house over the weekend. There are five, soon to be six of us, in this house. It's a small house. It's... um. 1500 square foot but 500 of that is basement so we have a thousand square foot of living area there are three small bedrooms one bathroom a living room a kitchen a dining room and over the weekend with our five kids or five kids <laughs> maybe one day who knows but um over the weekend with our five people in the house it gets crazy we make lots of meals where there's lots of laziness because it's the weekend and none of us want to do anything anyway you have seen most of my messy cleaning videos that I have done have been on a Monday after the weekend and I finally <laughs> have made a change that has worked for me and I promise will work for you too and um, Clearly, I'm not trying to sell you anything by telling you this. I'm just trying to let you in on the secret that I finally have let myself in on. And that is changing my negative self-talk. I cannot tell you, seriously, how life-changing this has been. Just the way that I have talked to myself has changed my housekeeping. And I'm going to show you what my house looks like on a Monday morning with five people in a thousand square foot home. Now it's not perfect. Okay, so here's my dining room. Um, as you can see, there there is some stuff stacked up on the bar and our drink area is completely out of control. Um, I did clean this table last night when I did my before bed routine, it's just stained. Um, the trash needs taken out. That's actually my 16 year old's job, so. Um, that needs taken out but there are the only dishes that are out I had water in this Chris had water and I used this to make his coffee to go this morning um, I swept I don't know oh, I'm kind of afraid to show because there's probably dirt from yesterday but last night I swept the floor before I went to bed I cleaned our tables before I went to bed I did my before bed routine good morning he just woke Jeez. up. Cheese. Hi. He just woke up. He's a little crabby. Um, okay, but I mean, as you can see, and if I took you upstairs, you would see that it is also mostly clean. I have already made my bed. There's some work stuff that I need to put away there. I don't know about the bathroom, guys. I'm kind of nervous to show it to you, but I'm going to. Not bad. Usually, you know there's a pile of laundry in front of the hamper. No toothpaste on the sink. It's got condensation, of course. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys saw how destroyed my house got on a regular basis and I'm getting ready to do my morning routine I haven't finished it yet but as you guys know I keep it here on my fridge finish wiping it off I keep it here on my fridge and let's see what I have done this morning I was up before the kids I got the kids up and out the door. I haven't done that yet. I did do coffee, made the bed, and I know what's for dinner. So I'm getting ready to finish this up. I changed that negative way that I spoke to myself because you know that we, as women, do that a lot. I forgot to even tell you what time it is. Can you tell what that says or is it backwards? It's 8.14 on Monday morning. 
Um, and my house is mostly clean. Uh, I can, I have, normally I would spend Mondays cleaning my house from the destruction of the weekend. And that would usually take Monday. By Tuesday, I would have to re-clean what was already cleaned and do laundry on Tuesday. I don't even think I have a load of laundry to do today because I kept up with it over the weekend. And this is the same routine that I have tried to implement time and time again. I cannot tell you how many printables I printed out. How I even I tried to make my own because I thought I thought in my head this just doesn't work for me. I can't get it. There's something wrong with me. I need my own. Well, I made my own and it still didn't work for me. Guess what, guys? It's not the printable. It is not someone else's routine. It it has nothing to do with the list. And it has everything to do with the way you treat yourself. And I know that for some people, myself included, <laughs> okay, honey, this may sound a little like woo-woo and hippy to be and like far out for you. Okay, I get that because when I started reading this book and listening to these podcasts or reading these books, I, I thought the same thing. Okay, honey, Leah wants chocolate milk. Or well, he wants a yoo-hoo, but we don't have any. Um, so I thought the same thing. I thought, oh, right, right. Positive self-talk is really going to change my life. Honey, the hoo-hoos are all gone. And, okay, well, let's see. You want orange juice? Want some juice? Hoo-hoos are all gone. You want some chocolate milk? Oh, we're going to have a milk now. Okay, so I got him settled. And then the water company came because the neighbor's water is leaking. So, anyway, I got all that settled. And I did not even jump on this bandwagon of positive thinking and positive self-talk until I read about it, heard about it on podcasts. Apparently, it's like a commonly known thing that was not known to me. And I started realizing how often I really am bashing myself. I would tell myself, I'm so lazy, I'm never going to get this done. All I'm going to do is sit on the couch today and watch, play on my phone and eat junk food. And you know that I tried like social media detoxing and things like that and it didn't help. <laughs> and that's because it was not the social media that was causing my problem. You gotta forgive this wedding mop. I haven't gotten ready for the day. It was not the social media that was causing the problem, guys. Sorry. It was not even my cell phone that was causing the problem. It was the fact that I told myself this on an internal loop all day, every day. You're never going to get this done. You suck. You're fat. You're a slob. You're lazy. You're a bad mom. You yell at your kids all the time. Okay. If we spoke to our children or to another person, anyone, the way that we speak to ourselves, how would that make you feel? It would make you feel like a terrible person. Okay, so why do we talk to ourselves like that all day long? All day long. And like I said, I didn't buy into it. I didn't believe it. I was like, really? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my life with positive, positive self-talk? You guys, I am living proof. The first like day after I listened to, I think it was a podcast by Ali Casaza, and it's Mommy. called The Purpose Show. Mommy. Hi. Mommy. Did you, you want to take them off? Okay, hold on. And she talked about the way that she talks to her kids and, and positive self-talk and words of affirmation. Mommy. I heard that on her podcast, and I was like, okay, well, that's a little hokey for me. But after she said that, I started noticing the way that I was speaking to myself. And then I I read a book that talked about it. It was called, I think, um, The Miracle Morning. Um, and just all of these different things that started popping up. Sorry guys, it's a typical Monday. The water company just came and honked on our door again, so I had to kind of run away. Um, anyway, 
now that all the dogs in the neighborhood are barking because when one starts they all go uh, and so is pepper but anyway <laughs> um, once I realized how often I was speaking negatively to myself I thought okay then I'm just gonna try to stop talking to myself that way and so I took one day to experiment and try to not speak to myself that way and and this is like I said it might sound a little just try it <laughs> um, so instead of saying I suck I'm such a crappy mom I would say no I do a lot for my children I love my children I take care of my children I feed my children three meals a day plus snacks all day every day I I'm a wonderful mother if nothing else <laughs> I know that I'm a good mom and it's amazing what just saying that would do because just by saying that I would I would be a better mom I yelled at them less I I don't know I can't explain the the why it works that way but it does so uh, I don't want this to be too rambly I'm going to try to make a few of these videos on how I how this really did change things for me and I wanted to show you the Monday morning proof so that you could see I'm no different than you uh, that's been the best thing about YouTube so far have been all the amazing women that I have connected with that have been just like me right I have made myself known out to my subscribers on fa or on Facebook on YouTube as the one that actually has a messy house right you see the cleaning videos and they look like my house does now when they start right they they're extreme cleaning is a few dishes in the sink and you know maybe some clothes out and a lot of you have connected with me because you saw how my house gets and I don't want you to ever think that it won't get that way again I promise you I, I'm sure and maybe this is self-fulfilling prophecy but um, I guarantee it will look like that again but in the meantime I have changed my attitude I don't hate it and I have found that it's not the routine that's the problem it's it's the way we speak to ourselves so it's Monday it's the start of a new week and I want you to know that you are a good mom you're a hard worker and you can do this so no matter what your house looks like right now make the promise promise me my friends promise me that you're gonna stop talking to yourself like that because that's what's causing your house to look like it does so promise me that you're gonna stop talking to yourself like that give yourself a little grace a little breathing room and know that it will get better and it will get done and I want to know how this goes for you so be sure to check in with me whether it be here on YouTube on Instagram um, send me an email my email is heather at honesthomemaking.com um, I don't really have a website Chris just coming I mean I, I do we're working on it but Chris made me an email because he's so sweet uh, anyway check in with me somewhere I'm gonna go finish my morning routine and take care of this because it just I slept with it up there and now I'm pretty sure that when I take it down it's gonna be like oh here I'll just show you guys let's see what it looks like yep oh, it smells good it's still wet <laughs> so anyway I want to hurry up and get this out to you guys and I also want to finish my morning routine and I'm going to share some good resources for you in the comments below. These are the things that I've been listening to. There's a few podcasts, I think three podcasts I've been listening to and one or two books. I don't know. I'll get back to you on the books. But anyway, I will see you guys hopefully later this week for another video. And I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.